Today, I'm gonna to show you these threaded pipe inserts that make building with conduit a lot easier. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave. If you're new here, we like using ordinary materials in creative ways so you can finish your DIY project. We share tips and tricks, inspiration, customer builds. So if you like that, please consider subscribing. Today, we're gonna look at these threaded inserts that are really handy and solve a lot of problems. We've got four different types of threaded nut inserts on the site. Um, they come in two thread sizes, either quarter 20 or 3 8 16 and then you can see the difference between the two. These are meant to be inserted down into the conduit, and then these are meant to rest right on the end of the conduit, right on the lip. And those are the four that we have on the site. They're sold in packs of four, and it just depends on what kind of project you have and problem you're trying to solve, which one you're gonna pick. The way these work is you've got the threaded part in the middle that acts as the nut, and then you've got these teeth uh, made out of spring steel. And as you push this into the conduit, these teeth are gonna spring back and then bite and make it stay in place. So one way that you can push this in is by hammering it. So if you've got a long length, you might choose to do that. Um, but a community member suggested using a vise to actually use the vise power, the vise's uh, force, and then push these in, which I think is a great idea. Now you wanna make sure that the angles are pointed in like that, because that's gonna bite when it gets uh, mounted and pulled back out. So um, to use a vise, we're gonna take a bolt here and just thread it in, and then go over to our vise, and we're gonna open it up so that we can put this whole assembly right in the vise, and we wanna line it up best you can. What's important is just how the, the insert is aligned in there. If it gets a little bit off, don't worry about it. Uh, it'll kind of right itself as you go a little bit farther. Well, yeah, just tighten the vise. It's gonna push down in there and then you can loosen it and you can see that it did its job. It pushed the insert down in there. And if I unscrew this, you can see how the teeth are all pushing back against the inside of the conduit. So that's a great way to mount it. Uh, and again, you could hammer it if you want, uh, but then you just take your bolt and whatever you're mounting to it and screw it down in. And we've got some other options too that we thought of. Certainly not all the possibilities because who knows what you might be able to use this for, but check this out. This is a eye hook. So you can imagine if you're hanging a build or you wanna mount a, a rope to it, that could be really handy. Uh, another option is a threaded rod. So if you've got two pieces that you wanna join, or you've got something really long uh, that you need to mount, that could be an option. These are pretty inexpensive. Uh, and then things like a leveling foot. Now you probably wanna use this version with the lip already on it because the leveling foot is gonna push it farther in. But that screws in. And then if you want to um, level your build and adjust the height on an uneven surface, these are fantastic. We'll link uh, an example of these down below in the description. And then I really like this one. What we, we got a, this is a really interesting one. This is a ball mount for a camera, and it's got two threaded mounts. It's got a female quarter 20 and then a male quarter 20. So imagine you take and mount one pipe to that side and then another pipe to that side, and then you've got this flexible angle that can do all sorts of things. And these are pretty cheap. They're less than $10, so that could be used for something. I think one of the most exciting possibilities about using these threaded nut inserts is mounting a flat piece to this. So if you have a, a tabletop or some sort of flat piece of wood, being able to get the conduit 
to adhere to it and mount it just like this perpendicular out from the piece of wood. So we're gonna give that a try. I've got these, um, I've got these countersunk bolts that'll provide a nice finish on the top of the plywood. And then we've got the insert already into the tube ready to go. So I've got a drill bit that's just above quarter inch, a little bit bigger, and we'll drill that out. Imagine if this was like a tabletop or something like that. All right, and then I'm gonna attempt to countersink the plywood as well um, to give a nice clean finish with that countersunk bolt. So I've got just a, a larger drill bit um, and you gotta be careful not to have it catch too much and, and rip the wood. You just wanna go right down where the whole tip of the drill is in there. That's okay. And if I had, uh, if I was a little bit more cautious, I'd sand that down. Uh, but get the countersunk bolt and put that in. That looks good and it's gonna pull it the last little bit when we tighten it down. And then we've got, we've got the rest of the bolt on the other side. I mean, you just take the piece of conduit and get it started and snug it up a little bit. That looks good. And then tighten it down the last little bit with the Allen wrench. Just get it nice secure. And then it has a nice flush look to it. Pretty cool. This would be a great way to do a tabletop or a shelving system or really any build that needs a flat surface in a a really finished way to attach it. But here you've got the conduit, you can attach connectors to it and build off of from there. Certainly not all the possibilities of what you can use this for, but just a few examples of how you can use these threaded inserts in your build. I hope you guys find this hack useful. I think it's really cool and solves a lot of problems when building. Um, they're a common item. They're used in a lot of different applications, so you can find them on the internet. We have them on the website if you want to purchase them there. Uh, really appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you next time. Check that out. That's awesome. That's really sturdy. It's like a using a line flange. <laughs> yeah. You don't need a flange if you just do that. Right? Imagine that. You could use this as a flange. You attach it to a piece of wood and then drill a couple of screws through there to mount it to a wall or another flat surface. That's pretty cool. And then you do it just for a couple of cents, really. All you need is that bolt and the threaded nut insert.